We've been open for 25 years. We've set uh, 288 world records here, I think. We're one of the fastest ice and ovals in the world. My name is Mark Messer. I'm the uh, plant manager for the Olympic Oval here in Calgary. And basically my responsibility is to ensure the ice is as good as it can be. We do things maybe a little bit different from other people in the world. Uh, the fast ice comes from a combination of things. It starts with uh, very clean water uh, to make the ice. Then we control different elements. So we control the air temperatures, the ice temperatures and humidity. And then the final ingredient is to have a very well-trained, uh, efficient operators running the ice resurfacers at the end. And, and we're learning every day on how this ice reacts to the different things like different uh, temperatures, the crowds coming in, all that sort of thing affects the ice. Drier air is much better, but we can't make it too dry. It would be great for the ice, but it's not so good for the skaters. So we try to make a balance between the two. Seeing some of the um, world records that are set where they break a, a 36 second barrier or some of the big uh, barriers that are broken is, is tremendous. I don't know if it is the fastest. Salt Lake City, you stink. A little bit faster sometimes, it's a little bit higher. I think Salt Lake can be the fastest ice in the world, but on your average day, I think Calgary might be faster. I've been here 26 years and I love coming to work every day. Uh, our ice crew is, is dedicated, they love coming to work and, and making the best possible ice we can so the skaters can perform as best they can. And we get a we get a great charge out of setting world records, but we also get a great charge from just seeing the reaction on the skaters when they cross that finish line, they see the best time they've ever done.